Hi everyone, I am Vindeshwar from Post Network Academy and uh, in the last video I explained you how to read humidity and temperature from sensor embedded on nano BLE cells and as I have explained you it contains many sensors and one of them is proximity sensor. So, it can calculate distance from an object. So, suppose that this is my nano BLE sense microcontroller and if an object comes in front of nano BLE sense, so it will tell how long or how far uh, an object is from nano BLE sense. So, let us move to laptop and uh, we will use Arduino IDE and we will program and upload on it and we will see that how distance will be calculated. So, let us move on laptop. I have connected nano BLE sense with laptop system with USB cable. And you can see that the green light is equal to it. That means it is connected with laptop or any system. Power is on. Now I am going to write the code. And I will upload on this nano BLE sense device. So let us start. So first of all, you will include library. I am going to type the library name. So, first of all, you will use the statement hash include that is used for including a library. RDM underscore EP DS nine nine six zero dot H means it is header file. Now, after this statement, I will start setup function. So, void setup and uh, again I am recalling it here that if you put any statement inside setup function, it will run only once. So, the statements which are related to configuration usually put on, put inside setup function. So, here I am setting baud rate of serial communication. So, I am using serial object, serial and begin method. Setting nine six zero zero border and thereafter I will use statement begin for sensors as well. So APDS object which is defined inside the library. So APDS dot Now we are done with setup function. Now let us define loop function. So again I am recalling here if you put anything inside loop function. So it will run continuous until unless you stop Arduino IDE or if you have uploaded on your uh, you can say that microcontroller so if you switch it off so otherwise any uh, statement you have put inside loop function it would be run so wide loop and you will use parenthesis loop will have block inside opening curly brace and closing curly brace 
you will write the statements. So first statement I am going to write if it will check whether proximity sensor is available or not. So I am writing if APDS object this object is used to handle proximity sensor. So I am writing proximity available checking it. And if it is available, so it will return a non-zero number. And if it is not available, so it will not return any, you can say that positive or non-negative number, it will return zero if it is not available. So if it is available, so what will you do? Your sensor or you can say that you will get the value from the sensor. So int, this is the data type. I am using proximity variable. You can use any variable. Proximity. Thereafter, I am assigning the value. So again, I will use APDS object to call read proximity. Now, proximity value is stored in proximity. So you have to print using serial dot println print ln method of serial object. So serial dot print ln proximity. Now put some delay. So delay five hundred minutes. Now I am going to issue command for compiling this program. And wait for some time to compile the program. So now green progress bar is progressing. It is covering white one. So if it covers whole white bar, so it will get compiled. So wait for some time to compile. So see that this is also part, sometimes some programs takes more time and it is uh, almost of uh, 15 lines of code but it is taking time. So there might be, it uh, might be taking internally more uh, computational uh, tasks, you can say the more computational tasks than other programs. Or it might be due to ID, or it might be due to your system. Sometimes it will take less time, the same program, on, or the same uh, microcontroller. And sometimes it may take more time, or time may be different. It depends on your laptop. Now you can see that it is compiled. I'm going to check the port number. So. Arduino Nano BLE is on port number 22. So I am going to upload it. So let's see that how long does it take to upload.
see that what happens when you upload the program. So, if you are using Renovi license, so after uploading, sometimes it changes port number. Now, it is not changed. So, just I am going to see the value. So, serial monitor. So, see that here. I am checking the proximity. See that this is an object and see the sensor is in this side. So here my hand. So see the value. If I am putting my hand closer, so value, value is decreasing. To I will not tell you unit, you will search very less, very close, very proximate. Almost zero. I'm just taking my hand away from the nanobial lesions. So more value. So see that it, it will not measure 1 meter, 2 meter, but just proximity. The maximum value is 255. So we are 237. And you will tell me what would be the unit of this measure. Now I am putting it very close, very close, one, this is it, now it becomes zero, again, so you can see that it is a misery proximity, but how long an object is away from the proximity sensor. It is also APDS sensor. And uh, just comment to me that what applications you can meet. And what is the unit of measurement of this distance. So this was about how to read proximity from nano VLD microcontroller. I would like to thank you Adas Kumar who recorded my video and uh, Asutosh ji who helped me to make thumbnail. Thanks for watching.